so much for tuning in for this community update. I'm Carla Carter Knack, and I'm a licensed Unity teacher and a prayer chaplain leader at Unity Spiritual Center. And I want to share some of the exciting opportunities going on there. Last month, during our prayer chaplain meeting on Zoom, something wonderful unfolded. We discovered that several of us had felt a divine nudge to invite everyone in Unity Spiritual Center to join us in prayer for our community, our country, and our world. During this time of multiple challenge and so much division in our world, we believe that uniting in prayer will have a powerful impact. Some of the prayer chaplains shared that years ago, when this church needed to find a new home, everyone tuned in at the same time on a phone call to pray the same prayer in unison, just as the Fillmores did when the unity movement was born. And that's how our Fruitland Park location came into being. Isn't that cool? Well, prayer has power and the action of us praying together multiplies that power many times over. Beginning on Sunday, November the 1st, and every day thereafter, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, we encourage you to pause to pray at 9 p.m. You won't need to tune into Zoom or even make a phone call. Just pause and go into prayer, knowing that others are also praying the same prayer at the same time. And if you can't pray each day at 9 p.m., please do it at a time that works for you. So be on the lookout in your e-news for the first prayer that we'll all be praying together. This special prayer is a collaborative, creative result of all the prayer chaplains working together. Speaking of prayer, I encourage you to join the fall spirit groups, which have just begun. The topic is Affirmative Empowering Prayer, based on Reverend Linda Martella Witsit's book, How to Pray Without Talking to God. This is a great opportunity to learn more about affirmative prayer, to strengthen your daily prayer practice, and lots more. And it's a wonderful way for us to connect with each other on a personal level. I find it very life-affirming and supportive during this time of social distancing. So please join us on Tuesdays from 2.30 to 4 p.m. on the church Zoom. And if you need the passcode, just give the church office a call. They'll be happy to give you that. The prayer chaplains and I want you to know that we hold sacred space for our beloved spiritual community, including you. We all miss praying with you after services on Sunday, but we want you to know we are available to pray with you. Please just reach out by calling or emailing the church office and they will get in touch with the appropriate prayer chaplain. If you're a church member and you haven't signed up for a monthly prayer call, Please let the office know, and we'll make sure you're assigned a prayer chaplain contact. Also, we invite you to request prayer through our virtual prayer box at sundayprayerbox at gmail.com. That's sundayprayerbox at gmail.com. And I want to assure you that your email prayers are held in confidence, just as if we were praying with you in the sanctuary. I check this mailbox every Monday and forward your request to the prayer chaplains and to Silent Unity. In Silent Unity, hold your request in prayer for 30 days. If you ever need immediate prayer or you want to give yourself a loving gift, please call Silent Unity. It is such a treat. They've been answering prayer calls for 125 years. Their phone number is 816-969-2000. And you can find them on silentunity.org. On a personal note, I too have found our human world to be physically mentally, 
and emotional draining at times. With the coronavirus, the political division and civil unrest all colliding in 2020, it's a particularly challenging time. It's been a real call for me to step up my practices of self-care and spiritual care. I've come to rely on meditation and prayer, physical movement and exercise, staying in contact with friends and family via the phone or Zoom, and not listening to news have all helped me stay balanced. A dear friend reminded me to start with gratitude, being thankful for life itself, for our beautiful sunshine here, for friends to talk with, for family Zoom calls, for being able to get outdoors almost every day to enjoy nature. Once I'm centered, I'm able to respond versus react. I'm more in balance. I can see the possibilities from that perspective. I'm able to let more light in. From my heart to yours, I encourage you to use your spiritual tools and to practice excellent self-care during these times. You are a unique individual expression of the divine and you are loved. Thank you. God bless you.